Perpendicular lines are lines that cross, but they cross at 90 degrees, exactly up and down where the one slices through the other exactly 90 degrees. This has no 90 degree marking, it's no right angle. So this is not a pair of perpendicular lines. These lines are just called intersecting lines. So we're going to call that, let me just get to my proper page here, uh, intersecting lines. Intersecting. Intersecting lines, right? Or you could just say these lines intersect, all right? All right, next problem. We have a five-sided figure, one, two, three, four, five, right? So this is a pentagon. This is a pentagon, and the question is, I want us to name and write down two pairs of intersecting lines. So intersecting lines, they don't have to intersect at 90 degrees, they're not perpendicular, they just need to cross somewhere. So we can see, we can just start looking at this. This line segment intersects with this one. This line, sec line segment intersects with this one. This line segment also intersects with this one. Basically all of the pairs of lines all the way around, they intersect at the points, right? So we just have to write uh, two pairs now. So let's take a look at VW, and that intersects with WX. So VW, WX. So we'll call it VW segment, WX segment, WX segment. So VW, WX, those are intersecting line segments. Uh, what else? We have WX and we have XY. These intersect, so we'll call it WX segment and then XY, XY segment. So WX, XY. All right, now we're not gonna put a symbol here because these are not perpendicular. So we don't wanna put that perpendicular symbol. We're just gonna say that this segment is intersecting with this segment. This segment is intersecting with this segment as well. And there are other choices. You could say this segment intersects this one, this segment intersects this one. I mean, you can go around, your answer can be different than mine. All right, the next problem just simply says, draw a pair of parallel lines, a pair of parallel lines. Remember, uh, a pair of parallel lines are just two lines that never ever cross. If I try to draw it by hand, they'll be crooked. They'll, they won't look really great. So here is a pair of parallel lines. They never ever cross because they're going in a straight line, but they're never, they're never crossing anywhere. Even if I extend these lines off forever and ever and ever, they're never ever going to cross. So this is what my solution looks like. But your lines could look like this at another angle as long as they don't cross. They can even go straight up and down or straight horizontal as long as they don't, they don't cross. That's all that matters. So, let's... all right, problem number four, we have a triangle. And notice in this triangle, one of the angles actually has the square in the corner. So this angle is what we call a right angle. We've talked about that before. It's a 90 degree angle. So because of that, this triangle is something that we're going to be learning about a lot uh, later on. It's called a right triangle. So you can draw any kind of triangle you want, but if one of the angles inside that triangle is 90 degree right angle, it's called a right triangle. So this is a right triangle. So the question I want you, or I want us to talk about is, let's name a pair of perpendicular line segments in this figure. Well, this is a line segment, and it does intersect this line segment, but this angle is not 90 degrees, so it's not perpendicular. This line segment intersects this line segment, but it's not perpendicular because this is not 90 degrees. But this segment is perpendicular with this segment because of the right angle right there. So we call it line segment AB, call it line segment AB, is perpendicular to BC. And we can use this symbol perpendicular to show us that AB is perpendicular to BC. You don't have to do that if you're just listing them, but that's the way I'm just sort of teaching you what that symbol means as we go. All right, next question. Here are a pair of lines, and my question to you is, are these lines perpendicular, are they parallel, or are they intersecting? Well, they don't appear to be intersecting because they look like they're not touching and they're not going to ever touch, ever. Uh, and so they can't be uh, perpendicular lines, they have to only be parallel. Parallel is when they don't touch. So, or they never cross at all, so parallel. All right, these are parallel lines. All right, and here is our last problem, a kind of a funky looking weird figure here. The question is, name two pairs of intersecting line segments in the figure below, intersecting line segments. Now there's tons of line segments here that intersect. So your answer is gonna be different than mine. For instance, this segment intersects with this one. This segment intersects with this one. This segment intersects with this one. This one with this one. I mean, you can go all the way around and you can name lots and lots and lots of them. So all we need is two pairs. So we know that this one, FG, We'll write that down, FG, that segment FG, 
intersects with this one right here, GH. GH. So FG intersects with GH. That's one answer. Uh, what is another answer? We know that GH intersects with HI. So GH and HI. So GH and HI. Let's make sure this makes sense. GH is this segment right here, intersects with HI, this segment here. GH, HI, that's right. And FG, GH. FG, GH. So that's all correct. And uh, notice, though, that in this figure, we don't have any of those little squares that tell us it's a right angle. So we don't actually know if this is 90 degrees to this. We don't really know if this one's 90 degrees to this. So we don't really know if these angles are right angles because the corners are not labeled with that little square. So we don't really know, but it does appear that they're 90 degrees, but maybe they're really close. Maybe they're 89.9. That's not a right angle it's, if it's not exactly 90 degrees. But that's okay because this problem did not ask us for right angle intersections or, or uh, uh, perpendicular line segments. They just asked for intersecting line segments. And these are uh, two, you know, several, uh, several answers that you can pick here, but these segments are intersecting and these segments are also intersecting. So here we have learned and mastered the concept of parallel lines and line segments and also perpendicular and also just intersecting lines and line segments. It's not a hard concept, but you know, you do have to learn it and you have to draw it and you have to get used to seeing figures like this. And it can seem very confusing and complicated at first, but hopefully as we do more and more of these, you will find that it's not a big deal. So what I'd like you to do is practice these yourself. Follow me on to the next lesson. We'll continue building your skills step by step. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.